My son has a Yamaha. It's a 2000 RT100. Um, the clutch is slipping, so I'm gonna take a look and see if I can figure out what the problem is. I've got it on its side. I just drained the uh, oil out. Pulled this guy, drained the oil. I'm gonna take off this cover plate. So under the first plate is uh, part of the throttle cable. Uh, so I'm gonna have to keep taking this whole cover plate off. This entire thing looked like this entire piece is gonna have to come off to get at the clutch plates by look of it. Okay, note to myself, the one here back by the starter is a longer bolt. That guy right there. I have to move the dipstick in order to get at one of the bolts. And a longer bolt came out of this spot. And a longer bolt came out of that one too. And I think I got all these bolts removed. Uh, I'm gonna see if this thing pops off now or if I'm gonna have to remove this. I'm not sure about these screws in here. If they're just holding this on, that one looks like it might have to come off. Let's see if it uh, moves. Problem is I don't have a service manual for this. I might have to actually buy one. Okay, so I can get it to move slightly. But uh, I think I think that one's got to come off. We'll start with that bolt again. Note to self that one was a longer bolt as well. Okay, that loosened it right up now. But it looks like this guy's gonna have to come off here. I think because the whole thing seems to be pivoting from that one spot. I don't see anything else holding it on. I'm just gonna wiggle this guy off. Hopefully. Okay, so I popped it off. This came out of here. My seal gasket here, uh, the bottom ripped. Right there. So I'll have to probably order a new one of those. I still have a throttle cable attached here, so I've just got the cover plate pried up so I can work on this guy. Okay, so now I'm going to pop these four spring loaded bolts off. Two out. So that's all four removed. Let's see if we can pull this off. Honestly, I don't know what I'm looking for, so I'm not sure uh, how worn that is or not. It's got to be the issue. If it's slipping, everything else seemed to be fine. So I'll probably just buy a replacement kit, put it in. Okay. So as I was pulling these off, I wasn't expecting this. There's a rubber like ring gasket here that uh, used to be like a spacer that goes between here. So I have to remember to put that back in the correct order. Well, there's not much more I can do here now until I um, order the new parts. Okay, so I have my new clutch plates. They've been uh, soaking in uh, oil for several days now because I haven't had time to get to this. So here's the thing. These plates, these friction plates, don't look a lot different than uh, 
the ones I took out. A little bit, not a lot. I'm thinking maybe the wrong oil was put in the clutch at one point in time. Started causing the slipping. So I guess we'll see. So I'm all cleaned up and ready to go. And I'm going to start dropping these in. First you start with the friction plate. Just got to line the teeth, not the teeth, but the fingers up. So it drops in like that. And then this plate. And it's important that one side here is rounded, one side's sharp. Sharp side goes out. There we go. Then the ring I took off earlier. And then the next friction plate and so on until I'm done. So I'm just getting the last ones in. The only thing I don't know is the this kind of nipple on here where it indents in. I'm not sure if they go in a specific order. I've just been placing them randomly on here. I hope that's correct. If not, please someone let me know. And this is the last one. And then the pressure plate on top. And then the pressure plate goes on next. And I got four new springs just in case the other ones got overheated and uh, lost their temper. So I'm just going to pop the springs on and then screw them in place. Okay, almost done. I had to get a new gasket because the other one tore. And I'm going to put that on and then put it back together in reverse order that you saw me take it apart. Alright, it's all back together. It's starting to get a little dark out now. And the kid's going to take it for a run.